Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Caitlin from GreatFlorals.com and today I have another episode of 6x6 Fix for you all. I'm using these four paper pads, so I'm showing you which ones I'm using. And I pulled out a bunch of things from a bunch of different collections, all different um, manufacturers as well. So first step for this is gather 6x6 six six papers. Um, once you see the design of this, you'll be able to figure out how many you want to do because you can't expand more than four like I'm doing right here. And I'm going to cut all of these down to 5x5. Five five. Now you can leave them 6x6, six six, but once you see why, you'll see um, why I cut them down because that's the look I was going for. Now what I'm doing is using my specialty um, cutter here to determine where I want to make my cuts. So I'm doing half inch borders. So I'm going to line my thing up to the half inch mark and cut down to the half inch mark. And I'm going to do this for all of my papers. So they're going to make little frames. Now if your cutter doesn't have this, I'd probably recommend using a pencil and an X-Acto knife to make your marks on the back sides of your paper. And that'll come out better for you. It's hard to get the hang of, so hopefully you have some extra paper laying around you can practice on. Like even I messed up on this one where I missed a quarter inch of the item I was supposed to cut off. So there's the first frame, and I'm going to do that with all four sheets of my paper. And now that that's done, I decided that I'm going to lay them out on a diagonal pattern here. So you can see I'm doing this. Um, you could add more, like there's clearly gaps for more, so you can add a bunch more pattern papers if you wanted to. Um, but I'm using this little 4x4 four four photo of my cat. So I'm going to glue these down, and then I'm going to do some stitching on the bottom left one which I really didn't need to do. I mean, it looks fine, but I only did it on one of them. And I wish I had a sewing machine here because I would do it on all of them if I did um, to add more texture, but I don't have one and hand stitching takes a while and I'm bad at it. So we're just going to do that really quick afterwards. And I cut most of that out so you don't have to watch me. But I do have to cut off these ends. So I'm going to set these aside and I do use one of them later because they're great, um, since they're perfect right angles on one side, they're great layering pieces for photo clusters. So I'll be able to show you how I use that later. Just gluing down the edges. And I have a few embellishments that I've picked out already. I have an American Crafts chipboard piece and an Ellie Studio tag die cut. I'm not sure which um, collection that was from. I have a few of their die cut packs. And that one just happened to be on my desk. So so this is where I decided to do the paper piercing to do for my stitching. So I'm going to do a few holes here. And then I'll end up uh, cutting off the camera so you don't have to watch me do this. I'm using a ruler to get straighter um, punch holes, but that did not help much at all. <laughs> so once everything was stitched with white thread, I decided to start pulling out more embellishments. Um, of course, I'd take the strings down first using some washi tape. So we're going to add the little something since that was the only plain color that I had on there. Um, the rest are pattern paper, so it kind of adds to that. So I'm thinking about using the scraps I had as little um, layering pieces, but I decide some of them are too harsh. But I will go back to that yellow strip there. I'm going to use a freckled fawn square doily. I think there's multiple there. I'm not sure. I hate when doilies don't want to come apart. Now I'm looking through my embellishment bin that I pulled out to pull out a few. I pull out these We Are Memory Keepers die cut flowers. They will stay on the layout. I also have this little piece of chip, well, cardboard from a Target item that I purchased. And it was really cute polka dot background. So I decided to incorporate that onto this layout. So if you think a pattern's cute on something that's normally considered garbage, um, you can incorporate it. I decided to use this polka dot chip cardboard piece. This is from one of their Valentine's Day items that I purchased. So I decided I am going to use that yellow strip there. So I'm going to start gluing everything down. Of course after I write down the date because I don't want to forget the date. So I'm going to fiddle with this for a while which is really annoying but my photo was an odd size and then the doily's an odd size and everything's an odd size in this situation. But I make it work and have a little bit of that yellow peeking out just like I wanted. And I should have put some fun foam under the right hand side of that photo since the cardboard's a little bit more thick compared to paper, but that's okay. So I glued that down. So that's where my photo's gonna go. 
And I like how the now diamond shaped squares are um, playing off how this is straight across compared to that. So I'm going to look through all of my stickers. Um, I should have cut more of this out, but that's okay. I do pull out a few of these jelly bean soup word stickers. I think it says like funny memories is what I end up picking out. But I'm going to glue down all of these pieces as well using my fine line bottle. I'm not sure what collection that Welcome Home chipboard piece is from, but I think it's the... Oh, what's it called? Not the... Oh, Fifth and Frolic, I believe is what it's called. Maybe. I'm not sure. I added some fun foam beneath this flower piece. This is a die cut piece from We Are Memory Keepers, the same collection as the little flower piece in the bottom left cluster. So for this um, layout in particular, I end up making two embellishment clusters and then my title cluster. I mean, I don't embellish the title, but it's there. Which is, um, it was actually a really fun title to make because I used some new products and old products together. So again, looking through all of my stickers. Because I really thought this layout needed more, but I end up settling for a pretty simple layout. Despite the background being a little bit more than I usually do. Um, it's usually just a plain sheet of paper, but... So once I'm finally done looking through all of my stickers, and I don't put them away immediately, <laughs> I look at some of my washi tapes and I pull out the gray X1. So this is a thin washi tape from the dollar store. And I put it in the bottom right hand side and the top left hand side. So it just adds a little bit more to the diamond shape. I don't really like how that turned out, but it like had this faux stitching effect I kind of liked. So I left it. Now I'm going to work on my title piece. And I find this Jelly Bean Soup sticker that I purchased at scrapbook.com that said favorite. Which was perfect because it's going to go for the title. As you can tell from the title of this video, the um, layout is going to be titled Her Favorite Toy. And this is my cat with her favorite toy. And I actually just, I filmed this a little bit ago, but I just finished the journaling um, a few days ago from when this, um, voiceover is being done and um, I talked about her favorite toy which is so cute and then I pull out these American Craft stickers they're like a dark pink canvas chipboard material couldn't tell you what font they are because they're not with me right now and I did not put it on the camera screen <laughs> but they're um, a linen texture in case you're wondering so they're really cool in that sense and I thought favorite toy was a little bit less than I wanted, so I pulled out these Heidi Spot glitter pink stickers, which I'll be using on another video coming up. So be sure to check that out on Sunday um, to spell out her. So I also pulled out these Cosmo Cricut clear stickers. Um, I pull out the arrows in the house, which add a little bit to the layout. I like that they're clear and then just the white part because... You can't really tell on camera, but the clear part is kind of distracting in person. It's just like a plastic that I don't like. And now I'm going to mess around with these acrylic love pieces, which are actually wine charms from Target. So just kind of repurposing them. But I do use one of these resin flowers, even though I don't use the resin love piece. Even though I'll cut off a bunch of plastic off of both of them. In attempts to use them, I do not. So I'm going to add a few enamel dots on the bottom left cluster and the photo cluster to the right. I'm using these pink and yellow ones from Echo Park. I believe it's the Metropolitan Girl Collection, in case you want to know which one. And that pretty much finishes up this layout. I hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to subscribe for more videos and series like this. Um, and thanks for stopping by, guys.